Apparently, this here is the most beautiful cafe in the world. The New York Cafe here in Budapest. Let's see if it lives up to that hype. Let's go. Today's destination is the New York Cafe in Budapest, right next to the Blaha Luisa Tér metro station. It is part of the New York Palace Hotel, and you can guess from the queue of people in front of the entrance that it is very popular among tourists. Standing in line is rare in Budapest, and for us it took around 30 minutes to get inside and be seated. The cafe opened its doors in 1894, and over time it became very popular among the bohemian crowds of Budapest, especially writers, journalists and other artists. So much so that the cafe at one point even stocked paper and ink for those who gained inspiration while enjoying the drinks, snacks and the atmosphere. No wonder it became the favorite place for the finest Hungarian writers and poets. The architecture indeed catches the eye of those who visit. The design mixes Baroque and Renaissance elements, and no matter where you look, there will be a small, interesting detail to observe. So it's no surprise that the cafe was awarded the title of the most beautiful cafe in the world twice. Besides serving the usual cafe items, the place also serves as a restaurant, so you can eat full meals in case you are hungry. Today we ordered the Franz Josef experience menu with goulash soup, pie and other desserts. You can even catch some local gypsy music performances while enjoying the meals. There's a cool urban legend I've learned while researching this place. Apparently, when the place opened, the crowd enjoyed themselves so much that they threw the keys of the cafe into the Danube River, so that it never closes. A small mini statue next to the cafe salutes this story. So that was the New York Cafe experience. Now let me share with you guys what my overall thoughts are. And please don't mind my hair, it's a really windy day. So the positive things. The building is indeed gorgeous. You feel like you're in a Renaissance French palace or something. It is amazing on the inside. Regarding the food and drinks, some of them were really, really good, especially the goulash soup. That was pretty good. I really enjoyed that. When it comes to the desserts, some of them were enjoyable, really nice. There were some that I normally don't even like, but here they tasted very well. But let's talk about things that I find a bit negative here, right? So some of the desserts were kind of mid, and for this price, I kind of expect that everything will be good, and in the end we paid somewhere around 65 euros, with like a 15% service charge on top. It's kind of expensive for this kind of, you know, a course. And I would expect everything to be like top notch. We were sitting very crammed. It's a really touristy place. Everyone wants to take that Instagram shot that you can find all over the web. Now, when it comes to the service then, it was nice, but the food arrived with a delay. And there was one item on this course that we had that they didn't even bring out. So then let me try to conclude this, right? Overall, if you want a good cafe experience with nice coffee, maybe nice food as well, probably you would need to go to a completely different place. But if you want to treat yourself, you know, be surrounded by the gorgeous architecture and have a nice coffee, and you don't mind spending more than usual, then definitely come here. But again, what did you guys think? Would you come here, you know, for this experience? Or have you visited the New York Cafe before? Let us know your opinions in the comment section. And thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. And again, see you guys in the next video. Bye!